This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It is. You guys are sitting here drilling me on it. I didn't do it. How can it be ridiculous? I didn't do it. We have all the evidence. Think about it. I didn't do it. And I'm not going to sit there and, and say, oh, I did it. Well, I didn't. There's no way. Have you killed anybody? I've never killed anybody. So you didn't kill Courtney? Um, Courtney Kramer? Kramer? Absolutely not. No. What has it been like for you all these years oh, being my. in here? I mean, Welcome to Crime Circus, My Name's Baby Drip, and this video features an alleged innocent man getting interrogated by detectives. The video starts after they've already been asking him questions about the crime. He says the accusations are ridiculous and that he didn't do it. A man named D.I.C.K. was beaten with a hammer until he passed away. Stay tuned for updates at the end. Now, let's see what this young man has to say for himself. Wednesday, you said you haven't had any oxy. And now you're telling me today, yeah, you probably did. You were, that's only 10 days later, and you're doing that's nine a day of an average that, that, that you may have had some that day. But that day, you told me you didn't have any I didn't. when you're walking down the street. Because I remember I had to drink a beer. I had to drink a beer that day because that's where I was going across the street to get another beer. You were walking home when I saw you. you I was going right to the Circle K. No, you weren't. You walked away from the. Uh, from Bubba, and you'd walk several hundred yards. No, I, I was coming across. across the, no, I was coming across the street. I was down the road a quarter of a mile. You were right across you. the street by the Circle K. No, I, I wasn't. Okay, you I were. was in a parking lot. Yeah, yeah parking right by the Circle K. And yes, all you walk, and here you come. Bobby we didn't go by a road with brand right new now. white tennis shoes, and you finally walked up to me. I said, "Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Remember?" It wasn't at the Circle K. It wasn't at the Circle K. It was the you were going to the Circle K. You were walking home. You, you told me where you were going. You were lying to me then, too, or you just don't remember. Here's the Circle K. Here's where you guys were. I was walking across the street, and all of a sudden you go, Jeff Averbosky, I look up, and you go, can you come here for a minute? And then I beep out towards your car. You walked a quarter of a mile. parking lot. We'll go by and look at it. You walked a quarter of a mile before you got there. Okay, we'll go over there. You take me over there, and I'll show you exactly where I'm I know exactly where I picked you up. That's it's all documented. It is ridiculous. You see, that's just a, a, an example that you're just not thinking straight. I am thinking straight. I know well, what I do. You're damn sure about Saturday, but you can't tell me Tuesday. Yeah, I'm damn sure about Saturday because right. that's the only day you're drilling me on. I'm sitting here running Saturday through my head. What did I do? What did I do Saturday? That's exactly what I'm doing. Because Saturday was pretty cut and dry. I was at the house. He picked me up and went to the mall. And that was it. He said you never went to the mall. You never said you went to Walmart. Walmart? How do you get the mall at a Walmart? You show me where Walmart sells that kind of knife. They don't. That's right. Think about it. I can take you over to that mall. If you find the right mall we went to, I can show you the knife in the case. Well, they probably it replaced it. Saturday. It didn't happen on Saturday. That's the day we went to the mall. Where did you get the money for that? I, mean, I know for a fact I worked over at uh, A1 a Olive Top, so I made some money there. How much money did you make there? You worked, what, one day, two days? I worked a couple times for them. Okay, and how much you make a day? I don't know, uh, 50 to 80 to $100 a day, depending on what I do. And you got a four to $500 bill every time you go to the doctor to get oxycontin. I told and you. And that's several doctors. That's several different pharmacies. You're running around. You're pharmacy shopping. You're doctor hopping, man. You know who's paying the bill? Who's driving you around? Dick. Dick drove me around Mr. and he paid for a few of them. Yes, he did. I admitted to that. You're if I was if I was hiding anything, I'd have said no. Dick has never paid anything. I'm admitting to that. You're riding with Dick all over town, all over Central Florida, getting oxycontin. He tell you tell me he rips you off that one day, I and mean, you know what? Today's account is different from what you told me Wednesday. You said that he had a struggle with a woman in the pharmacy about grabbing the. Bank. That's right, he did. Okay. Today, it's just that he put the prescriptions on the floorboard. Well, I didn't go through the whole detail of the day. You could go over to that Eckert's, or, yeah, it was Eckert's. You could go over to that Eckert's and even ask the woman that works there if Dick went for that bag. He did. Was the oxy in the bag? Absolutely. Well, you know what? The 20 second I talked to you, you said the oxy wasn't in the bag. Your story was that that was Percocet, that you left the script in the truck, and then when Well, we, I had a prescription of something. And, and, and then when you did confront Dick about it, where's my oxy? I need it. He said that he ripped the thing up. So you can't even keep your lies straight. No, 
that was a while ago, but I know I had a bag of pills coming over the car. I can't well, account for it. Well, how was it? You're saying you're sure today it was. You're sure about Saturday. Well, I, right? it was pills. It Cut and dry, it was pills. If it was Oxys, if it was Percocet, if it was Xanax, I don't know. It was pills. Gary, I mean, it's almost impossible for me to keep Almost. It's pills. almost. But you know what? It's not impossible. I know what happened. You know what happened. Uh, you, you, know what? you believe what you want to believe, and I know what I happened. I want to do what's right here. You should... If you believe in God, you should be one to do what's right. You need to. Be I am one doing what's right, Gary. Think about it, for God's sake. This is ridiculous. This is totally ridiculous. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is ridiculous, man. Sitting there blaming me for this crap. Jeez. This is ridiculous, man. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So don't tell me I was at that place. That's ridiculous, man. Don't tell me I kill a man. That's fucking insane. Ridiculous, man. Want me to confess to something I didn't even do? That's fucking insane, man. To dare a guy sits there and kills a guy and then goes puts himself in jail? That's fucking ridiculous, man. I don't know what the fuck Chris is talking about. Listen, I got people going out bringing the on. And we're, we're going to revisit. Don, read this with Chris. Okay. Okay, I've already, like I told you, I've already been with Bubba two days ago. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring everybody in and just go down specifically one more time because we've done it two or three times. We're just going to keep doing it until we get the truth. Chris is adamant that. <clears throat> That's was, insane. I don't know why Chris would tell you that. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. You know what? If it was just Chris, I might be inclined to agree with you. But it's just not Chris. You got a woman there, okay? A good woman who's there, but he is clear headed, clear minded. She saw, we do photo lines. You, you're familiar with those, right? Sure. Pictures, and she says, there he is. And then that day when I drove you by there, and you got out of the car, man, she's sure you cannot dispute that. This woman doesn't get her wrong. This woman saw you. Gary, between me and you, I was not there. On Saturday, because I know for a fact that we went to the mall and I spent the day at the house in the morning. That's it. Okay. That's all I did. It doesn't make sense why Chris would even well, say that. No, I don't care. Saturday, Sunday, Friday. Obviously, you care about Saturday because you yeah, keep drilling me on Saturday. I'm because that's why everybody says that you're lying. No, I'm not lying. Okay, but let's forget about the Saturday, the mall, whatever day that, that Dick died, whatever day it was. If it was Friday night late. If it was Saturday night late, which actually is Sunday morning, whatever time, if it was in the afternoon, whatever, it doesn't matter. The ma what matters is he's dead. What matters is you were seen there. You're saying you weren't there. What matters is there was hair and there was fingernail clippings. We, we go through a whole process in death investigations. There are so many things that are... Uh, I would imagine. Okay, there's... I mean... If you ever watch that forensic file on TV, sometimes it's hard. Okay, they cut your fingernails off. I mean, so many things are done. They scrape, they do, if it's a woman, they do rape kits, they do swabbings, they take blood, they take fluids, they take your hair, they do so many things. And the big problem with that, the big problem for you is that your DNA, okay, is there. Well, I don't know how it got there. I if it's even there. I, I can't believe it's there I because I wasn't there. I just can't believe it's there. It's there. Well, I don't know if it's there. I don't know how it got there. Jeff. All I know is, is I wasn't there. And Dick has never pulled my hair ever since I've known Dick. No, don't necessarily have to pull your hair. In a struggle, somehow he grabbed he would have had to grab me by the hair. Somehow. You, you know. Dick has never grabbed me by the hair you ever in his life. I mean, you guys. During the struggle, somehow he grabbed your hair. Your guys are mm -hmm. running up against each other. I mean, like I said, your DNA is here today. You didn't. 
I think the best source of DNA is right there in that cup. DNA is is not that difficult, okay? But it's it makes a reasonable person look at it and say, "Wow, I didn't hurt that person was there." I don't know what I'm going to have to tell you guys to convince well, you. Well, you know what? I I think that all I know is what my story is. It wasn't there. Dick was alive on the 13th when I saw him, and that's the last time I saw him. And after that, the last time you saw Dick, he was alive, but Dick died as a result of it. Dick obviously died sometime. Were, were, were you over there with somebody else? I wasn't at Dick's house that weekend. The only time I saw Dick, the last time I saw Dick, was at that pharmacy and at that 7-Eleven. That's the last time I saw Dick. And that's the truth. What's a reasonable person going to think? What? A person that looks back, doesn't know you, me, the chemist, all the witnesses, Don, Chris, Bubba, people that don't know any of us, any of all this, but they just listen to what the facts are. And I told you what the facts are. What's a reasonable person going to think? You know they're going to think now? With, with, with your adamant denial, you know they're going to think? You're a cold-blooded son of a gun, man. I am not a cold-blooded son of a guy. That's what you're going to say. Ask everybody that knows me. I'm a nice guy. I don't sit there and get mad. I I have no reason to get mad. I understand that. But that's what an ordinary person is going to think that doesn't know you, that hasn't had the opportunity to talk to all the people that we have. A person on the jury who hasn't had that opportunity to talk to all your friends and acquaintances who doesn't know you. That's the opinion they're going to say. He's one of the others we are. Look I at, am not look a cold-blooded at, look I don't think you are either, right? I'm not. I, I don't kill know. people. Well, I've never killed anybody. Well, other than Dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, think Dick was, I don't think Dick was intended. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you did intend to kill I think you know there was shit happened. So and he died. And he died. What are, what are you guilty of? I'm not guilty of anything. Oh, we're all guilty of things. What are, what are you guilty of in Dick's telling the hair? In, in Dick's whole life? Yeah. Since I've known Dick? The only thing I've ever done wrong with Dick is I gave him a couple of pills when he would sometimes fill my prescription. That's it. Yeah. And you're guilty of Because he would ask me for him. He says, well, you know, if you need, to, you know, do you need some money to go to the doctor? I go, yeah, can you loan it to me? And then he'd go and he kind of like extort me out. And he'd go, well, why don't you just tell me a couple of pills? I go, all right. Leading to his death, what are you guilty of? Leading to his death? Yeah. What caused him to die? I don't know. I don't know. Think about it. I don't know. I am thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for three months since the since the first time your name came across. I've been thinking about you and what the connection is. And and you weren't our first guy. You know who our first guy was? Bruce. Bruce is beating him up, as everybody knows. Bruce is beating him up. But you know what? We cleared Bruce. Bruce didn't do it, and that's the guy. Well, you know, Bruce didn't do it. Do it. I don't know who did. Well, we know who. Who? Oh. You, you did. No, I did not. Jeff. You're not going to sit there and make me Jeff, confess Jeff, anything Jeff, I didn't you do. Dropped off by Chris and his car, and you heard his words. Was that Chris's voice? It sounded like him. Yeah, I don't know why Chris would say that unless Chris has something to hide about. So I know Chris didn't go over there and have somebody hurt Dick and then come by and pick me up and try to implicate me. Think about it. I didn't do nothing. If if Chris Chris don't even know Dick. If if Chris Chris doesn't know Dick. Chris, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Chris knows Dick or not. I don't know who Chris knows because I really don't know Chris. Chris doesn't know Dick. And why would I take a guy? It doesn't make sense. Why would I take a guy that I hardly even know, man's house cat, and take him over and kill somebody? It doesn't make sense. Well, I'm saying you take him over. That's right. Think about it. I don't think you would there to kill him. I did not go over there to kill Dick. I did not even go over there Saturday. You were there. You didn't go over to kill him, but you were there to die. No. Did it happen Sunday morning early? When did it happen? I don't know when it happened. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. Could have been Saturday night. I don't know when it happened. Could have been the early morning. Is that is that window? But boy, Saturday's the day that you have a problem with because everybody says you were there. You, you were there and that you didn't do what you're saying you did. I didn't go over to Dick's house Saturday. No way. No way. This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It is. You guys are sitting there drilling me on it. I didn't do it. How can be ridiculous? I didn't we do it. We have all the evidence. Think about it. I didn't do it. And I'm not going to sit there and, and say, oh, I did it. when well, I didn't. There's no way. I got a wife and kids out there. You think I'm going to, as much as I love my children, you think I'm going to jeopardize 
my children in my life by going and hurting Dick. You got a wife who doesn't want to have anything to do with you. She's who, mad at me. Who has an injunction against you. It's more than being mad, buddy. It's being over. She's over you. Oh, I know that. Okay. She's got a new guy living there. Right? I know that. Okay. She's done with you. I know that. And you got all the only thing problems. important in my life is my children. Well, let me think about it. Who's got your children? She does. And how likely or successful are you going to be in being in their life the way that you want to be? Well, well sitting there being sitting there being pushed out of the house and having to flounder around, yeah, yeah. it's tough. It ain't going to happen. Your world, buddy, is 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 on a collision course. Is a seven forty seven out of control of the earth? That's your life. That's your life on the thirteenth. I can understand it. We've been around long enough. We've talked to people, man. I'm a people person. That's all I do all day is talk to people. And talk about problems. I understand you've got problems. You've got problems. You've been sober. You know why? Because you're trying to get away from it. And, and I admire you for that. You quit cold turkey. You've done whatever you can do except going back a few times. You're in jail now, so you have no no choice. But 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 the, I went to I do have a choice. I went to I went to jail to clear my VOPs and get out and of my to life. Clear your head and to get straight. That's right. I wanted to go ahead and this get the POPs behind me. This is drug therapy for you, buddy. This this is this is a perfect opportunity for you to try to get your life together. Good for you, but the thirteenth, the week of the thirteenth, that Friday, that Saturday, that Sunday, whenever all this crap happened, and I don't know the exact minute of the day. I can't tell you exactly when Dick died because I wasn't there. And you weren't there either, probably. Unless you hung around and watched the poor man suffer, I don't know. But you know what? Your life is at 747, headed to earth. You're about to crash and burn. And you know what? Being desperate, anything can happen. No, and you know, I detoxed you know, myself and got uh, myself straight. You, you, were, you were in detox when, when, uh, when Dick died. I was what? You, were, you weren't straight when Dick died. I had, pills, pills. Pills I had my own pills. I had my own pills. Why would I go over here and want Dick's pills? You know why? Because your life sucks. That's why. My <laughs> life doesn't suck. At that point, Jeff, you know Dick. The only thing that was upsetting me was my wife and children and not being able to see my kids. That's it. Drug addiction, no. But you're out of control. You were out of control on the drugs. I've been out of control for years. Have you ever heard anybody since then? No. Hurt your wife, your marriage, your oh, that marriage, is, yeah, your, your career, your livelihood. Have you heard anything? You've heard everything because of drugs. Yeah, but I'm not going to go kill somebody over it. Well, I don't think you intended. Maybe you did. I don't think you. Did. No, I did not kill anybody. Well, you know, not anybody. There was an altercation between you and Dick, and he died as a result. That's the bottom line. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I did not hurt Dick. I did not hurt Dick. The last 13, 40 years of your life. That's pretty much sucked. Well, it really hasn't because due to the fact that I raised my children, I had a good life with them, I did everything with my son and daughter. I always, you ask how, how, long, how long have you been out without us? Uh, a couple of months. That's a minute. It's been three months since he's been dead. You were out of the house then, hadn't been a couple of months. No, because I was in jail and I sat there and I came back to the house. I was out, probably out of the house about... Um, you haven't been to the house March, since maybe? I talked to you. Since February or March. Let me tell you something. That's not a couple months ago. Well, some months ago. It wasn't a year ago. It was just a couple of months ago. I mean, a couple. I'm not saying two months. It's been several months. Yeah. Months without your children, without your wife, and all that's gone to pot. We talked about your wife. Your wife's got an I know that. Why do you think I quit? Because I tried to better myself. I want to be able to go see my children and my wife go, wow, he straightened up. That's why I quit drugs. That's why. I but it wasn't until, it wasn't until sometime after Dick. Death. Did you decide that? Maybe that was the deciding factor. What? Dick's death. No. Maybe that's why you decided to quit. I quit maybe, because I wanted to see my children. Maybe you quit because you were tired of your lifestyle and what had made you and what it had done to you. If, if I was so out of control, my life sucked, don't you think I'd be using drugs on a daily basis? You don't you think I wouldn't? Drugs on a daily basis. You were using it on an hourly basis. Don't you sit there and think that I wouldn't have turned myself in and I'd have it? Think about it. I got nothing to hide. Hey, you know what, Jeff? You hit the bottom. Dick's death was you. That's you your bottom. bottom, buddy. You hit the bottom and you're bouncing up. No. You're bouncing I up. Quit. You're doing the right things now. But you know what? Dick's. The aftermath of Dick's death is probably the best thing that ever happened to you. 
you're coming up. It's the best thing ever happened. Hey, post Dick Dick's death, you've got your shit together. You turned yourself in. You're in jail where you know that you can't get any oxycontin. Okay? That is not so why I so turned myself forced. in. I went to the VA, right? The reason I turned myself in is I knew I had to. I got my surgery done. I wanted to heal up. I healed up. I was at the VA place, and I was well enough that I could sit there and function again. Because, I mean, cutting stomach muscles is tough to get over. I went over there, and uh, Dave pulled a criminal background on me. And I, he was he was going like, wow, you got a lot of job things. And I saw, oh, there's a warrant out for me. And I even told Dave. I said, Dave, I go, I know I can see my warrant under there. I need to go turn myself in and get that straightened out. Because I don't want this to go over my shoulder. This is pulls up your criminal history? He did. Pulls up your criminal Absolutely. history? Absolutely. VA. Absolutely. Says you got a warrant. No, he never said it. He knew it was there. He never said it to me. He had the paper sitting there on top of the table outside, and I was just going like, wow, what's all on there? I go, wow, violation of probation. And I go, there's a warrant up for me. Then about, I think it was like about an hour after he started talking to Terry, because uh, I had to go do something. I don't remember what I did. He started talking. Oh, no, I think he finished with me, and then he started talking to Terry, and he stopped talking to Terry, and that's when I pulled Dave aside and I said, you know, I, I, I looked at the criminal background while I was sitting on the table and I saw the VOPs. I go, you know, I got a warrant. He goes, yeah. He goes, I was wondering what you were going to do about that. And that's at the VA hospital. No, that was over at the house I'm living on in Rockford. It's, it's a place for VA, for vets to go and, and save money to get back on their feet. That's what that is. Is this a probation office? No, it's, it's a guy with the Veterans Administration. How can he run criminal histories? I can't even do that. He ran a background check on me. That's what he did. He's, you can call me and ask him. He's got it sitting in my file. And I saw it. And then I told him, he goes, he goes, we don't sit there and turn you know the other cheek. And I said, I need to better myself. I said, I'm going to turn myself in. And I did. You know what? I don't believe it. Well, I'll I'll tell you. Call him. Well, Jeff, I'm going to tell you something. This is my opinion. My opinion on that thing. My opinion is you're a bullshitter. My opinion, no, listen, my, my opinion is you've lived a lie for a long time. You've lied. You've conned. You've lied. You've conned drugs. You know? The last so many years, I don't know how long. That's what you've been doing. You've been lying and conning your way through life. No, nope. sure you have. You've lied to get your drugs. You, you've lied to this doc. You've lied to this guy. You're, everything is a lie. Everything's a lie to benefit Jeff. Everything that I've gotten from the doctors, I've documented with my past medical history. Right. I'm in a lot of pain. I had the rip snapped off of my spinal cord. I'm in a lot of pain. Are you saying now? Absolutely. But you're doing it now. Why didn't you do it a year ago? 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Why after Dick's death? Because that's your wake-up call, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's God calling you saying, wake up. You just, you have just hit the bottom. If and I'm full, and buddy, it's time to spring up or just lay there and, 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 and drown. No. Okay? You hit the bottom of the pool, you're rebounding, and that's why you're in jail, getting straight or whatever, because you don't have any oxygen. Man, don't don't dance with me about it. I could have got oxycodone any day. Sure, you could. You could leave here today and get it. That's right. I'm not going to because I'm done with them. I've had enough oxycodone. I want to get back with my children. But that's why I quit. Why did you do that ten years ago? Twelve years ago? Because I thought that my wife was going to let me go on with my thing and I'd just be a functioning, you know, user. So you think you go home one day and say, "Hey, honey, guess what? I've been off oxy for ninety days. I'm home. I'm back after fifteen years." I'm back. She, she told me, she said, I need to see a year before you can get back into this family. So that's why I quit. I wanted to get that year of sobriety. And I thought the VA was the best thing. Because that way, because they're doing random drug testing on me. They didn't do it yet, but they were going to start. And they were going to go ahead because there's zero tolerance at that house. That's why I quit. I wanted to better myself. Zero tolerance, but you have a script. That's I haven't had any prescriptions over at that place. I stopped. I haven't even gone to any doctor since I've been over there. I think you're trying to clean up too to fix, to fix it. To fix it's already broke. Broke. Yeah. It's already broke, okay? What's broke is Dick's death. The death of Dick can't be fixed. You can fix your life. You can go when you can fix your addiction, but you can't fix Dick. You've been able to bullshit your way out of everything in life. You're good at it. You've been able to con your wife for such a long time. My wife you're, able, what I was you're, doing. you're able to con an old man Dick and to get money from him by running you in there and paying for your dough. You're able to con everybody. You know what, Don? Don describes you in one word. Three letters. Con. That's Don's description of you. And Allie hit her on the head. That's what you've done. You made a life out of it. 
Right. But you know what? It's finally caught up with you. It's yeah, time it's, to tell the truth it's now. It's here. I've told the truth. It's, it's here. It's right 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 here. You're lying to me. You're lying to him. And we and we know different. Wow. Well, okay? I don't know what you know about the well, bottom line. You know what I know. I've told you what I know. I've told you what I know. The evidence speaks for itself. I can't change that. The only thing I can do is go down and say, Judge, jury, you know, he's sorry for what happened. This is why it happened. Something happened. Da, da, da. That's the only option that I have. I either go in and say, hey, did you plan it? Cold blooded? It would be you nice. Know, it'd be nice for documentation. Or he might, you know, he, you know, has remorse. He, he feels bad for what he done. Let's have some mercy on him. Let's have some sympathy. He's trying to get his life together. He's a good man. He's got children. He wants to try and get his life to square away. That's what I want to present, but I can't present that until you tell me the truth. And right now, all you're doing is bullshit and con and con bullshit. Uh, I know firsthand how that shit works, and it don't work. From your perspective, it may, but from people looking at you, they know what you do. They know what you are. You're con. You're lying. And you're con. And you're lying. Just getting by, man. That's the way it is. And if you want to present that and contain, keep that. That's up to you, but you have to live that life. I told you the story of everything, mm-hmm. and that's that's the bottom line. Think about it. What? That's the bottom line. Sure, it's the bottom line. Your bottom, bottom, that's bottom your bottom line. line. You're, 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 you're sure that's big line. We don't buy it, Jeff. The evidence speaks for itself. I don't have to sell that evidence. That speaks for itself. When I go in front of a judge and jury, that evidence is going to speak for itself. I don't have to su- try to manipulate or try and blow it up. It speaks for itself. The only thing I got to find out is why it happened. And I only have one choice at this point because you narrow that choice down. The choice is that you, you plan to go over there to murder him and you did that. That isn't what anything yeah. happened of the yeah. sort. Well, they need to tell us. Unless you're not doing doing something else. Quit your, quit your lying. Quit I'm not lying. Yeah, you are. You're sitting here bullshitting me. You're lying to me. You're trying to piss on my leg. It's raining and that's the way it is. Quit the lying. Quit the bullshitting. Be a man. Stand up for once in your life and tell the truth about what happened. Told for you. once in your life, tell the truth. I told you. No, you haven't. You're sitting here bullshitting. You continue to lie. Lie, 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 continue. Tell the truth for us. Be a man. Show your family, show your kids that you're a man. Oh, show my kids that I'm a killer when I'm Show not. your kids that you know the, what's right. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does. But you got to be man enough to stand up and say, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I have problems. Drugs made me do it. Dick brought it on his own stuff. Dick's an asshole. Whatever. But if you didn't go out there and call it, you need to tell the truth and quit living this damn lie and keep t- pissing on my leg because I ain't buying it. I ain't stupid. I've done this a long time. I ain't buying it. A judge and jury's not going to buy it. Well, tell the truth. I'm the truth. No, you're not. Continue that lie. Continue that lie. I want you to. Continue that lie. I want you to continue that lie. I've told you Because it's going to come back to haunt you. That lie will come back to haunt you. I've told you the truth. No, you haven't. Obviously, I have. You know, you just continue to bullshit and bullshit and lie. Continue that lie. We'll see how far it carries your life. The time has come to be a man and quit bullshitting people. The bullshit is over. Be a man for once in your life. I am being a man. No, you're not. You're being a punk. You're sitting here. I'm being a punk now. Yeah, you are. You're lying. Conan and lying. You guys are sitting there trying to shove me. I'm trying to get you to that. tell the truth for once in your life. You're a great example. For Feel truth for once in your true. life. You're I didn't do it. You're a great example. I didn't do it. You, you know what you say? You can't do it because of your kids. I understand. <laughs> Why are you putting my thing in there? Because that's your hang up. You don't want to have it out there for your kids to see. Your kids are going to have to deal with it anyway. I didn't do it. Today, today your kids will deal with this. One way or the other. Your kids are going to deal with it. You can't protect them from dealing with it. But why not, when I go there to talk to your old lady later, Connie, is that her name? Yeah. When I go to talk to Connie, say, Connie, he's been arrested for this. And he's explained. So what, you're arresting me for this? When I talk to Connie, and when she tells her kids, what do you want her to tell those kids? Well, Daddy did the right thing. Or I didn't do it. Or, or daddy, or daddy still, or what, what does she tell your kids? Daddy's still the same old con he used to be. Daddy's still talking that same trash he has all his life. Why not just do the right thing? Get it out. Go with your best shot. Get it off your chest. Do it for your kids and let your kids, they won't understand initially, but someday they'll be able to say, my old man did the right thing. And if, you know what? That lives in me. 
I got it here. Or does your son grow up to be the same little con guy that you've been all your life? Don't bring my do, kids into well, this. That's ridiculous. Well, I didn't even do it, Gary. Do, do you want your kids to end up like you? Do you want your son to be in this similar situation? Because that's what happens in life. Sons tend to look at their dad, and their dad is their hero. For the most part, sometimes that's not true. But boys look at that they're their dads, and that's what they want to be like. They want to be show their dad that they're a man, that they've done it. What what's it going to be with you? I didn't do it. Your kid following the chain, buddy. The chain that you started. The chain of being a con guy who can't admit to the truth, who can't explain what happened. We've given you so many outs here, and you're just not... I'm not confessing, Gary, to something that I didn't do. There's no way. It's not an issue of something that you did not do. Stop conning me. I'm not buying your con. I know better. We're well, here. You know We're better. here. We're here. I'm not some guy off the street that you're trying to sell. Okay? I'm not. You're not selling me a car. Don't sell me because I'm not buying. Well, I didn't do okay? it. Okay? Yeah, you did it. I did you not. Did it. You did it. You did it, and you can't admit it because, you know what? You just said it a minute ago. I, I think under all this Jeff, all this life of addiction and everything else, scraping to get by in your heart, the reason you can't do is because of your kids. I don't think you give a shit about your wife one way or the other. Is she... I think there's something there, but I think the kids is, is what's is your hang up. But buddy, your kids are going to deal with this for the rest of their lives, but how are they going to deal with it? I haven't done it. And I'm not admitting to something that I didn't do, Gary. There's no way. No way. I know you're not, but you know what? You did this. What you did, did I do? I th- what did I do? Let me tell you what I think happened again. And I'm, I'm saying this because of what I've seen the crime scene, and I talked to people, and I talked to you, and I stood right there and looked at Dick for hours, okay, trying to figure out what happened. You went over there, whatever day, whatever time, with yourself, without anyone else, by yourself or whatever, but you went in there, and Dick ended up dead. Uh, You let, I think that, what I think happened you popped him, did something, maybe he got up, maybe the easy thing for you to say is that he broke bad on you, but you're not even smart enough to... Why would I say that when but, it didn't happen? But, Nothing but, happened but, with but, me but, and but, Dick. I'm telling you what happened. Why did happen? My God, I think you got in there and you left him and he died later. That didn't happen. No. Absolutely didn't happen. Didn't happen. Then, then, then you were a cold-blooded killer. I'm not a cold-blooded I'm killer. I'm wasting my time. And I'm wasting my time talking to you, trying to talk some sensibility into you about your kids. You're trying to talk because, me into confessing because, 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 because you don't give a damn about anything. If that's not the truth, you you are one cold fish. You are one cold fish who just killed an old, helpless man. What am I supposed to believe? There's two scenarios. There's not three. There's two as I see it. If there's a third one, tell me, buddy, and why. What, which which one's your kids going to believe? What about when they turn 20, when they turn 30, and they have their kids? And they ask, well, how come I never see Grandpa? Maybe they will see Grandpa. Who knows what will happen in this case? Dick wasn't that likable of a guy. But you got to tell us what happened. I'm you telling you the truth, Gary. And yeah. that's the truth. And that's yeah. the bottom line. You got to finish the picture. The picture's painted on the wall, buddy. You got to, you got to finish it. That's the bottom line. No, that's not. That's, 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 that's your bottom line. That's not the truth. That's the bottom that's, line. It's not the truth. Bottom line. Hey, come on. Bottom line. It's not the truth. It is the truth. Now, it's easy for you to make it the truth in your own little mind. But remember, you're talking to guys that don't. That don't believe you. That you're, you're talking about guys that aren't buying that con man game that you've given. You're a good talker. You're a good talker. You, you, you can talk your way out of all this stuff, but you, usually out of problems. You've done it, you've made a life out of it. Just say what happened. I'm telling you the truth about that weekend. That's what happened. That's it. That's the whole weekend right there. The whole weekend. That's it. The whole weekend. 
Now, I don't know why Don would sit there and say I threw a bag out. I don't know why Chris would say I was there. I don't even know why that woman's putting me there. You don't know how hell would be any of that stuff. Sort of no. It's there. Well, it's there. I didn't you're see there. anything that said anything about no, my DNA. There, it's there, you're there. I'm not there. You're there. You're, no. you're there, buddy, and you're... Well, if it's so cut and dry, why are you sitting there trying to make me because, tell us what I do? Because I'm trying to get you to tell us what happened. Because I want to know the whole story. I don't want to go in there with just a probable, what the facts say. There's always the facts and there's the story. I want to know the story. Right. Now, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. And if you know, you talk about you being so smart, you're not that smart because you could explain what happened. You could make it not something I don't know real bad happened. to something that might be believable to somebody. Maybe I would believe you. You know what? If you come here and say, you know, Dick was a son of a bitch. Dick was a nasty old man. Dick the belittled me. Dick did this and Dick did that. And yeah, I got carried away and I did something I, I'm not proud of. I can believe that. I would believe that and say, you know what? He's probably telling me the truth. I believe that. And when we write it up and send it on down the line, they could... Have something that they could understand, but 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 you're telling me something that didn't happen that we know that we can prove happened. You're up against the wall, buddy. You hit the wall. I'm There's not against the go. wall because I didn't do it. You are against the wall. You think I am? You, you, you have hit the wall. You think I am? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, that's your opinion. I know what happened, and I wasn't there. I know exactly what happened, and I wasn't there. You know exactly what happened. Yeah, I wasn't there. <laughs> Man, you're being so contradictive to yourself. Think about it. If I wasn't there, and Bruce tells me what happens and what he heard, that's all I know. I think Bruce told you the truth. I don't know what if it was the truth or not. I don't know. You know the truth. You know what happened. You you know what he was doing. Left. He may have been alive when you left. He may have been walking, talking, or whatever when you left. He may have been speaking to you. I don't, I don't know what happened. You know, only, only you can say. But I know what the evidence points to. To cold-blooded murder. No, I'm not a cold-blooded murder. There you are. There you are. What's your family going to think? What's your family going to believe? I'm not a cold-blooded murder. No. I don't even know why you're even sitting here running this through me. Doesn't make sense to me at all. It really doesn't. I'm sitting here going like everything going through my head like, wow, what are they thinking? Why do they think it's me? What is Chris saying this shit for? Why is Don saying I'm throwing a bag somewhere? That's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Now you know what you're thinking? That's well, what you're thinking. There was that con job, that, that, that smoke you're blowing. You know what you're thinking? What, what am I gonna, what are my kids gonna think? What's my wife gonna think? What's my son, my daughter gonna think? That's what you're thinking. That's what this is all about. You can't take it back. No matter what we do, what we say, it didn't change in the fact that Dick's dead. Well, obviously Dick's dead because you told me he's dead and so it's other people. Yeah, but nothing we do can make it right. All we can do is understand the truth for, for, for nobody, not for me, not for anyone, for your kids. Well, what's, what's, what's your kids going to grow up? How are they going to look at you from this day on? They're going to look at me as a good father, because that's what I am. Ask anybody. I'm a damn good father. I hope they do. You probably are. I am a good father. I was with them every day. I raised my children. I've never even spanked my children. I'm such a mean guy to go kill somebody. You would think I'd spank. No, it doesn't. You would think no, that I didn't know. Don't get my kids and done this and gotten in fights crap. all the time. That's all no. horse crap. You know what? The majority of the people we interview are people you would never even expect to be in your same situation. Killers all don't look one way, aren't all tattooed up with butch haircuts with scars and horrible lives. 
Killers are every, everybody. Everybody has it in them. There's that element within you. Well, it's not in me. Yeah, it, it, no, it, it may not be anymore, but it has been. No. You just don't have the opportunity now. But that particular day, you had the opportunity. You had the craving. Your life was in the pit so bad. That yeah, that's going to make me go kill somebody Absolutely. and ruin my life forever. It don't Absolutely. make sense. Absolutely. Gary, it Absolutely. doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does make sense. That makes all the sense. And why would a guy, think about it, why would a guy go kill somebody with somebody he hardly even knows? Why would I do that? Are you, you know, Gary, answer, answer me that. Why that would I do that? That, that, that? You know what? Sometimes you just make me think you're the dumbest guy on earth. I'm not. I'm a very nice guy. Why Why Dick Crandall? Because he's an easy target. Oh, okay. You think about it. He's an old the, man. The go kill he's a, an old man that you kill. The go kill a guy in a trailer park? Yeah. An old man that. man that has nothing and nobody, but he's got a lot of pills and he's got a lot of pot and he's got a lot of cash in his and, and, then, and then you tell me that I go over there and... and Talk to some woman and sit there and kill him while a woman is standing there. You didn't kill him while the woman was there. The woman saw you there. I never said you killed him while the woman was there. Well, that's what I was thinking. That didn't happen. You know better than that. There was no one around when this happened, unless you had somebody there to take you away. But there's no obvious witness standing there when this happened. Come on, man. We know what we we know that part of it. It happened, and you easily. Got away. Walked away. He, he's found later. I didn't do it. I never killed Dick. And that's all I got to say about it, Gary. I didn't do it. Did you? No. Did you stop playing? No. I haven't even touched I've never did touched you, Dick. Did you strangle him? Did you shoot him? Did you knife him? I've never did done you, anything. Did you hit him with a shovel? What'd you do to him? Nothing, Gary. This is a crime circus presentation. It's ridiculous. Uh, this is real. This is ridiculous, this Jerry. Is real. This is. You're real. trying to put me in something that I didn't do. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you think I go down there and say, "Okay, let's 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 pick on Jeff again." You think this is what this You're is? You're doing your job. You're trying to break somebody down, and I didn't do it. I'm not trying to break somebody down. I'm trying to get the truth from you. It, it is, is the, the truth. truth for your kids, so sometimes your kids will be able to live in some little bit of honor. Because there's nothing right now that they should be proud of. In fact, they'll probably be disgusted someday the way you, you've maintained yourself today. You're disgusting. Yeah, I'm disgusting. You're disgusting to them. Why not do something? Something, you know, well, you don't have much control of their lives anymore. But you got something that goes right now. You're pathetic and you're disgusting. Mm -hmm. And you're fixing to leave that forever with your kids. Why not do something? I'm not like a man. This. Like a man. Like a parent, like the All right, I've had enough, Gary. You're sitting there trying to drill me into something that I didn't do. Well, I, had enough, I don't want to talk anymore. You're sitting there trying to shove me into something that I didn't do. I'm done. All right. I'm done, Gary. This All is right. ridiculous, man. Right. You know what? I'm done, too. This is ridiculous. I'm done. <laughs> Sit there and tell me my kids, my kids, my kids. I'm a damn good father, and I didn't kill Dick. This is ridiculous, man. Totally ridiculous. I've had enough, man. And they're trying to tell me that I killed somebody. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. I've had enough. Jeez. This is bullshit, man. Total bullshit. I just wish we could have left on better terms. Mm -hmm. I think we could have left with the truth. You got the truth from you guys. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do. This is ridiculous. You ready? Yeah.
Yeah. Let's just try it real quick. Thanks for watching. Jeffrey was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. He maintains his innocence as well as his family. There ended up being zero evidence connecting Jeff to the crime. Was this an injustice? I wasn't there. I didn't have a single scratch on me. Come on. This man was be brutally beaten to death. You think this man allowed somebody to go in there and do that to him? Have you killed anybody? I've never killed anybody. So you didn't kill Courtney? Um, Courtney, Courtney Kramer? Kramer? Absolutely not, no. What has it been like for you all these years oh, being in here? I mean, when I first got charged with this crime and they put me back in 300 back there with those guys, I've never been in trouble. Never. I had, you know how many points? I had zero points on my record. I go back there, right? I'm in there with these evil people. It was the most stressful thing I've ever been through in my life. I got teeth knocked out. I fought for my life in there. I've sat in prison for years and wondered what, the, what was going on with all this, right? I have no clue what these people were doing with me. I've had thoughts for years. I never thought that you guys would ever come and see me. I sat here for all these years. Nobody did nothing. I filed all these motions. They shot me down. They didn't do nothing for me. I never got an evidentiary hearing. Nothing. Please leave your thoughts down below and come back to watch more videos soon.